Welcome to this retail example for using Discount Wizard. Play, pause and rewind as many times as you need. In this advanced example, we'll look at a discount that has Criterion, 50% off a 2 litre bottle of Coke when you buy a bottle of rum. Play, pause and rewind as many times as you need. So let's get started. From the Tools menu, select Discount Wizard to launch the application. Click New and type a file name and the description that will print on the receipt. This one's a maximum of 30 characters. Select the start and end date that the discount will be effective in stores. The end date defaults to one month from today's date. Select the priority for this discount. I'll set it to 2 in this example in case there's another discount for the products it's better value. You usually select to display the total saved at the end of the receipt as this gives you free marketing to the customer. Click the black triangle to expand the menu to select percentage off item and type the value of the discount, in my case 50%, you have to add the extra decimal zeros. If you have multiple targets, either add them into an item group to give choice or list them separately. But if you do this, the customer will have to buy every target in the right quantity to get the discount. We want to select an item because in my discount I'm only offering Coke at 50% off, not Diet Coke or Coke Vanilla. It wouldn't be rum and Coke if I did that. The customer only gets one bottle of Coke at 50% off for every one bottle of rum they buy. Of course, you could make the customer buy any number of bottles before they get this quantity at 50% off. Now we have to add Criterion, so that a bottle of Coke is only discounted when it's bought with a bottle of rum. In a moment I'll show you how you can override this logic and extend the discount to every bottle of Coke bought. You add Criterion in the same way as Targets. In some discounts you create, you might include the Target product as Criterion, but only quantities that aren't used to satisfy the Criterion will be discounted. In this example we select an EAN, because I'm only offering the discount when the customer buys a very specific bottle of rum, and there aren't multiple EANs for the product. The discount is offered on a one-to-one -one basis. One Coke is 50% off when one bottle of rum is bought. OK, so we're ready to finish this discount. There are only four things left to decide. Firstly, do I want to limit the number of times the customer can get this discount per transaction? Either once it reaches a maximum dollar saving, or once they buy a maximum number of target products. Secondly, because my discount has Criterion, I have the option to extend the discount to all bottles of Coke bought once the customer buys at least one bottle of rum. I'll leave it as the target Criterion combination only. Next, do I want to allow this discount to be applied to Coke that has already been discounted from another automatic discount? For example, a 20% off soft drink for VIP customers. Lastly, do I want the 50% off to be calculated off the reduced price resulting from another automatic discount or price override or off the original price? Click Save and Update. If you're a HOS user, activate the discount from location set up to the applicable stores. So how does this discount look at POS? As you can see, if I buy three bottles of Coke and two bottles of rum, the 50% off only applies to the two bottles of Coke. But if I selected to force the discount to more than the required targets, then the third bottle of Coke would also be discounted. Thanks for watching.